Hi, I'm John Ondo from Oasis City Church, and we want to talk about Juneteenth. And I have a friend with me from Oasis City Church, yes. Jocelyn Koble. How are you doing? Oh, man, I can't complain. I'm blessed. Today, we I wanted to talk to you about this holiday that's coming up called Juneteenth. And I don't know about most people. I have an iPhone, and uh, every other day, well, every day something pops up. It's National Donut Day. It's mm-hmm. National Baseball Day. And then you have your big holidays like Martin Luther King Day or uh, Cancer Awareness. And suddenly, a few years ago, I know for me, this new holiday kind of popped up called Juneteenth. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I I don't know what this is. I was not familiar with it, but you were familiar with it before yeah. this. So Juneteenth is actually the day, um, a Black Freedom Day. It's when slaves in Texas found out that they were freed and that they had actually been freed two years prior. Well, let me jump in on that because a lot of times that was kind of my confusion. I'm like, well, the Emancipation Proclamation was in 1863 and mm-hmm. we're talking about this, this time in Texas in 1865, but... Um, President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation was during the Civil War, and obviously the South was in rebellion, so they yes. weren't doing anything that he wanted. Um, so really, um, there was this, you know, we're not in the culture we are today with social media and instantaneous communication. So even though the, the war had ended and things had started to change, widespread, it was not enforced everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when General uh, Gordon Granger on June 19th in Texas said, we're declaring this Juneteenth. This is the day the, the slaves are officially free. That was that was kind of a date that kind of everybody latched onto, didn't they? Yes. Yes. Tell me a little bit about now. You can say, oh, this is great. And that's the lovely American history. But where does the church fall into this? And why do you believe it's something we really should we should take take hold of? Yes. So the church really championed the f- black freedom, the emancipation. There were lots of religious organizations and um, ministers and Quakers and abolitionists, I guess, under that umbrella yeah. that really championed e- freedom uh, of from slavery. And they did so by I mean, they they were writing letters to Congress. They were preaching it from the pulpit mm-hmm. they're they're screaming it to the communities john and, brown was a big leader in that yes. uh, whole game gave his life because he said this should end and yes. uh it's a good example yeah yes and they had moral uh convictions and ethical convictions but most importantly they just had spiritual convictions that slavery was evil and sinful and that it should end and end immediately and so because the the juneteenth um, was championed by these religious organizations. This is their legacy that they wanted to see happen. This is the this is from the fruits of their labor as well. And so it is um, it is the church's win as much mm-hmm. as it is a black win. It's it's all of our win together. It's not just uh, a black holiday. Everyone should celebrate it. That, that's a great point because that's kind of uh, unfortunately how I kind of viewed it at first. I'm like, okay, this is a black holiday. Wonderful, enjoy the celebration. But really, when you dig into it, one of the things you've been saying is this is a celebration for everyone. Yeah. When you, so if you if you see a Juneteenth party and you're white or whatever you are, come on, come on, bring yes. some barbecue and yes. let's go. It's actually referred to as our second Independence Day, yes. isn't it? Yes, which is kind of neat, isn't it? Tell me a little bit about what how you view it. It is uh, our second Freedom Day or our second Independence. It's actually celebrated similarly. So you might see different things like barbecues and uh, family gatherings and things like that. Um, However, the celebration kind of varies um, because it's not a widespread yeah. holiday. We haven't had a chance to establish any traditions, but um, it is kind of very similarly celebrated to 4th of July. And I think this gives us a great opportunity to talk about this because the federal holiday was, I, I believe, in 2021 when the federal holiday was officially enacted. State of Ohio also has it as an official state holiday. But so often, and this is not good news, but not surprising news, the church doesn't grab a hold of these things mm-hmm. that it should. Um, and I don't think I have to, to go too far and say, when you look at June being Pride Month, that other other cultures have taken control of holidays and initiatives and uh you know that's their right but i think we should look at juneteenth as this is a church thing this mm-hmm. is a not just a, a black holiday but it's an independence holiday for white and black isn't it yes it is and specifically for um the church too because of course they had they had the greatest hand in um in making sure that this day could come to pass and that our freedom would be granted um and so i think that it would be a great opportunity to do, as um, our own Bishop Garlington has mentioned, is to model unity. Is is the church the church's responsibility to show the world 
um, what unity looks like. And I think that we could use Juneteenth as an opportunity to display unity at a time Absolutely. when the yeah. where culture is telling us that this is a, a celebration intended to divide us or that this is a holiday intended to separate. And we could show the world that this holiday is actually intended to unite and we can be that example. And the church and a unified church, multicultural church, mm -hmm. help make this all happen. And that's worth yes. celebrating. Yes. So uh, so again, I will get some ribs going yes. <laughs> and uh, figure out a place where we can uh, celebrate some, some Juneteenth. Yes. And if you want more information, uh, we will have more things on OasisCityChurch.com. But we encourage you... Um, to come together in the body of Christ and make this this holiday something to celebrate, something to get your kids around and tell them about this history because it's something we really can yeah. celebrate on Juneteenth. And I hope you have a great one. Yes, thank you.